Father, we seek your guidance and direction. Let those who need to hear your word hear it openly and willingly. Inspire those who wish to investigate further to do so. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I'm Roger Havens, and the show's taking on a new format with a 15-minute run. YouTube listeners won't be affected by this much, but everybody else, I'm hoping you enjoy this. This is Near Midnight. this show has been being delayed is because of this new format um also personal issues that i've been dealing with at any rate welcome back to the show the show's called near midnight when speaking of the antichrist or the beast the subject of his mark is bound to come up and questions arise as to what will it be? How will it be implemented? Presently, the general consensus for the past several years even suggests that it will be a microchip implant, an RFID chip, radio frequency identification chip able to be read by specialized equipment, scanners as such, and retrieving data either from the chip directly or accessing a larger database. All done wirelessly. And this technology is already so advanced The capacity for information is ever increasing for the, even the minuscule size of these electronic devices such as a chip. When a cell phone can be reduced to the size of a watch now, how soon will it be the size of a chip? Now, the chip may be used in the initial marking and even already is being used to a degree for animals, the argument for using it on prisoners or convicted felons uh, or what have you. But this chip could already be rendered obsolete. With the advances in nanotechnology, there is now a biometric tattoo in the works. Using electromagnetic ink. With this ink, you can draw, literally draw a circuit with pen and paper. And so, the possibility of drawing this circuit under the skin is that much more possible. Now, considering that the chip is an implant, 
The tattoo, on the other hand, is embedded. Think about that. Consider that for a second. An implant can be removed with a fair amount of ease. Under extreme circumstances, you may even be able to do it yourself with a knife of, or tweezers, what have you. But a tattoo is far more difficult. Far more complicated to remove. A normal tattoo, either using a removal cream or laser, takes many applications or treatments. This ink may have an adverse reaction to the use of lasers and may be completely immune to removal cream because this is not a normal tattoo ink. And these technologies for removal are designed for ink that is readily available now. Now this tattoo of circuitry could still be used in conjunction with a chip. Or possibly a watch or a headband. Either way, it is far more difficult to remove. Far more permanent. And permanency is probably the key we need to be looking at. Now the main point of the mark is that the beast will implement this device in whatever form it takes, forcing all people, every one on the face of the earth, to receive it. That no one can buy or sell without it. You are literally banned from any commerce without the chip or tattoo whatever the mark is moreover there is a suggestion that refusal to receive the mark will result in death in a capital form, execution, or it could result in banishment. Le leaving you to your own devices and most likely starvation. In which case you may have been praying at this point for the execution. All this is to motivate and persuade in a direct, forceful manner to receive the mark. You see what the mark is. It is a brand. It is Satan's claim on his own. And once the mark is received, we're told that that is it. That is final. No chance 
for repentance. No chance for redemption. No salvation. Once you receive the mark of the beast, it is game over. You have just purchased a one-way ticket to hell. Now, why is this so permanent? What makes this so permanent? There are certain possibilities that we're going to examine in the next episode. Very frightening aspects involving manipulation control, and propaganda. You have an opportunity now to avoid the possibilities later. Jesus Christ died for your sins. He died so that you wouldn't have to go through this. Are you ready to accept Him now? Or are you going to wait till it's too late? The passage of time is not taking any of this further away from us. Each day that passes, no matter what you see going on right now, is bringing you closer to the edge of destruction. Turn to Christ now while you have a chance, while it's still your choice. Because once you forfeit that choice, you will burn. Father, I just pray that you open hearts, open hearts to you, call them to you, bring them to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. As you can see, the show is going to be in a shorter format again, and um, I'm hoping that you like it. I personally am learning to appreciate it. Until next time, I'm still Roger Havens. I'm still here. And it's still getting closer and closer as we stand on the edge near midnight.